Good morning to you too, Miss Sally. Well, you seem in a chipper mood today. A night of conquest and revelry. I take it the Morgan Schneider deal was closed? As tightly as the secrets of a grave. Uh, there's someone here to see you. A Miss Hayat? Look, Afia. Don't. There's absolutely no excuse for what you've done. You whine and dine a girl. You take her up to your hotel room. You ravage her through the night. And when she wakes up in the morning, you know where to be seen. Look, in my defense, the ravaging was by both parties involved. Both parties involved. Interesting choice of words. But that doesn't excuse you from the fact that you left me stranded there. I had an early day. You're to get back to your wife, Katherine, and your daughter, Vantika. So what else do you know about me? I know you better than you know yourself. The point is, how much does Katherine know about you and me? Look, lady. I'm going to make you an offer here. You get out of that chair. You leave my office right now. And I'll forget this ever happened. Sake of argument. What if I don't? What if I want to tell the entire world what a stinking two-timing rat you are? Your word against mine. Step one. Step two, a million dollar lawsuit for defamation and slander. A case which I will win, of course, on account of the fact that you have no evidence. Step three, I will destroy you in every way possible. And in ways you can't even imagine. And I'll take it all lying down. Heaving and panting like a woman should. Melting away in your arms. Sir, this is what will actually happen. My word against yours, step one. Statutory rape charges, step two. You dropped my drink in the hotel. Step three, evidence in court. Entire video recording of a little rendezvous last night. Step four, an arrest warrant. Step five, a very, very painful divorce in which you lose everything. Your house, your jag, your smug little walk-in closet. Step six, Avantika grows up without a father because her father is too busy getting gang raped in the prison. I hear that's what they do to prisoners then. Sly little bitch. No idea. So, what's this going to cost me? More than you can imagine. What a price I'm assuming you should be willing to pay for your own sake. Afia Hayat, Additional Director General of the National Accountability Bureau of Pakistan. Special Attaché to Interpol, currently deployed with FATF. I could say that again. Now, Raj, I don't need you. I don't need your bank or the trustees. I'm not coming after you. What I do need from you is a list of all Pakistani nationals who have accounts in this bank. Right. Then if I give those to you, all this never happened. Absolutely. Give me two seconds. And hey, 
Could you tell Sally to stir me a coffee, please? No, I like it hot, right? Sally, top priority. Afia Hayat, NAB from Pakistan, currently attached to the FATF. Find out everything about her. Keep texting me all the details. I'll buy you as much time as I can. And stir that bitch a coffee. She likes it hot. I thought you wanted coffee. I was until I realized that you have a bar in the office. Good job. Good stuff. My assistant will be bringing the list any moment now. You're a beach rat. Just out of uh, curiosity, what has the Financial Action Task Force have to do with, with all this? I don't know if you've been reading the newspapers in the last decade and a half, but there's been a huge surge in global terrorism. So, what's that got to do with me? It's got to do with all of us, Raj. I mean, eight countries out of the 195 are declared nuclear powers. Any miscalculation by anyone could lead to the end of the world. So what these guys are fighting is not your regular war. It's the fifth generation asymmetrical, decentralized urban war fought by the proxy non-state actors. But like any other war, this war also requires money. And that's where you come in. You seize the funds. There'll be peace on Earth. Look, blaming me for leaving you stranded in a hotel room is one thing, and blaming me for ISIS is a different ballgame altogether. But you are responsible. You pay for their weapons. And we have to wipe off the tears of the mothers, the orphans, the widows. In my own country, we've lost close to 60,000 people to these terror attacks. I lost my own brother. A suicide bomber. While offering namaz in, in the mosque. I'm, I'm sorry. You will be. If I don't get that fucking list. Boss, she's telling the truth. She is part of the FATF. Message from Sally? But how? Raj, Raj, Raj. I duplicated your SIM last night, so I get all your messages and call, but that's hardly the point. Do you think I'm fucking around? Do you understand the gravity of the situation? No, no, please try and understand. This is Panama. We have laws here. I cannot reveal the names of my clients to you. Even if they're terrorists? Look, what they do for a living is not my concern. If I give you that list, I lose my fucking job. You lose your fucking job? Wow. There are fucking limbs flying all across the world. In Syria, in Yemen, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. And fucking, what are you bothered about? Your fucking job? You have no jurisdiction here. You get me a warrant from a judge in Panama and I will give you that list. I don't need no fucking jurisdiction to destroy you. You can tell your wife what you were looking for in my pants last night. What the fuck have you done? It's just a little preview of what's to come, you little Wall Street cunt. In minutes from now, your wife is going to know about us and your daughter is going to know what a rat you are. I will personally fuck you up. You'll try. You won't make it that far. But I will let you try. But remember one thing. Every time there's an explosion somewhere in the world, those victims will be avenged. We know where Catherine. We know where Avantika. Why do I don't get that? You win. 
You have destroyed my life. But you will still not get that list. Now get lost. Look, Raj. I'm trying to make you understand that the stakes are really, really high right now. Your clients are murderers of the highest order. And the world is fucking burning. The world can burn itself to shit for all I care. Now get out! I'm beginning to wonder if you're directly involved in this terror funding. You're a beneficiary, aren't you? What are you talking about? I've destroyed your personal life. I'm going to take away all your wealth and you're going to rot in jail for the rest of your life. And yet, you're defending all your clients. You're hiding something bigger, aren't you? Get the fuck out of my life! That's it. I tried. I don't have the bandwidth to deal with this. I'm going to give you till the count of ten. Give me what I want, otherwise your braids are going to be splattered against these walls. What are you doing? For a man with a three million dollar salary, you're pretty stupid to be asking that question when a gun is pointed to your head. One. Stop this madness. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look. You pull that trigger and you go to jail for life. Not really. This is self-defense. Six. Remember she just strangled me? So by the time the cops come, the blood would have clotted just enough for the marks to show. Seven. Please. I'm begging you. Wrong answer, asshole. Eight. Nine. Why are you doing this? To test you, kid. Test me for what? Zero zero one nine one triple zero two four six double three nine. What? Again. Please justify your three million dollar salary. What do you think these numbers are? A, a bank account. Bingo, Einstein. It's an ISI cash stack in Zurich. There is $3 billion lying there. I want you to take that money and open an account here. Consider it as seed fund. You fucking made me go through all this for? You had to make sure that you wouldn't talk. Come on. Think of this as a job interview. And you pass with flying color, so congratulations. Now, 0019002463939. Transfer all that money here. And this money will get bounced off into different accounts every 29 days. And you'll be part of a network of bankers like yourself who are going to keep the fund moving. You know what to do next, right, Mr. Banker? And, yeah, just one thing. I didn't tell Catherine. She doesn't know anything. In dance another day. So if you want, you know, come to my hotel room. See you.